I think we've all reached that age where we are all just starting to settle down or even planning to settle down or have already settled down. Just me? Alright, so now that I'm finally 30 and a homeowner, I think it's time to actually move forward and embrace the future so that we don't get left behind in the dust. Now, speaking of leftover dust, I have here the Ecovacs D-Bot T9. Now, this is the first smart obstacle avoidance robotic vacuum cleaner. On this episode of Review and Review, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. So let's see what we have inside the box. Now, so we've got the actual D-Bot right here. Let's place this here first. Some cables, your standard cables. I'm guessing this is the charging dock. Yes, this is the charging dock. Oh, this is the blades, the, the wipers, the side wipers. And over here, we have the air freshener capsule. So like I said earlier, the D-Bot T9 can help you vacuum, mop and freshen the air. We have all the components here. It doesn't look like a lot because it really isn't. It's very simple. How is that? Nice, nice, nice. Satisfied? Good. So this is what the D-Bot looks under the hood. So over here, we have all the instructions for you how to use it. So we have the side brushes. Yes, the red and green side brushes. Ta-da! Now these are indicated red and green so that you know where to install them below the D-Bot. So as you can see, bottom of the D-Bot right here, the red and green as indicated below there so that you know where to install your side brushes. Alright, so let's take a little quick peek at what's under the hood right here, alright? So we've got our bag here, so this is where all the dust is going to be collected. And also, here we have a brush and cutter. Now, this cutter may actually be the greatest thing ever because do you know how long hair likes to get stuck? There is a roller here. Can you imagine the numbers of long hairs that's probably going to be stuck here? And I live with two cats at home, alright? To have long hair getting stuck here is going to be a hassle. And this little blade, this little blade at the end of this brush right here is a lifesaver. Over here on the D-Board, we can see an air freshener component of it. Over here, we just have to take out this little slot. We put the air freshener inside here, very easy, and then we slot it back in. And over here, we have a true detect camera. Now, some robotic vacuums go by camera, some go by laser. The good thing and the bad thing is that with laser, any piece of cloth blocking its view will be considered a wall. But with a camera, it will go through it and can reach all those hard-to-reach places underneath your tables, your fridges, your sofas, your chairs. So that's what makes it one of the best, if not the actual best, smart obstacle avoidance robotic vacuum cleaner. And over here, we have the microfiber mopping pad. Now, this is disposable. They have 10 pieces. After that, you can just throw it away. And the reason why it's microfiber because it has the highest efficiency for absorbing up water and also absorbing it evenly. So, you know, as you vacuum, you can mop at the same time because you actually can put your mopping pad right below here. All right, over here we have the instruction manual. You know, who needs this, right? It's the year 2021. Everything comes to us smart. If we're not smart enough to understand a smart device, we are not smart. Yes. This is the reservoir to keep the water when you're mopping. You can take this part out. You know where the air freshener was? Yeah, you can just take that part out. Take it out, slot it in right here. Blank. See guys, it's that simple. From mopping to air freshener, then after you're done, take it out, rinse it, change the water. You wanna maybe put in your air freshener again. Bang, very simple, it's done. And over here, we have the air freshener. This is called Wild Bluebell. What's a bluebell? Isn't it like a Pokemon? All right, so this is everything from inside the box. Now, before we can actually use our D-Bot T9, we'll have to charge it for 6.5 hours. I'll see you guys in 6.5 hours. All right, so it's been a few hours and we finally charged up our D-Bot T9. Now, just give you a heads up, in the setting up process of the D-Bot, right, make sure to choose the non-5G Wi-Fi. For some reason, I was having issues with the 5G Wi-Fi, so I chose like the basic 2.4 Wi-Fi. So, just to give you a heads up, right? For those of you who want to download the app, there is a QR code on your D-Bot T9 just underneath the hood. Just scan it, it'll lead you to the app. Just download it and it's right here. So, this is basically the main page after you connect your D-Bot T9. So, there's auto cleaning, there's return to charge, and there's enter robot. So, since it's the first time we're using the D-Bot in the studio, I'm in the studio right now, we won't be using the mop because the first time that it's going to be used, it still needs to map out the whole place. And uh, we'll get to see that on the map. So let's just enter the robot. 
All right, let's just start. I hear it. It's over there. The debug's over there. It's not even one minute and it has already detected where things are. So the 3D effect, right? You get to create a 3D house map, a realistic 3D map of your home, okay? So, you know, it'll take some time to actually take up the whole studio. I don't know about you guys, but the fact that I get to watch this and see D-Bot map out is actually quite therapeutic. If you swipe up right here, you can actually choose your cleaning preferences, right? There's quiet, there's standard, there's max, and there's max. Plus. So from what I know, standard is your usual flooring, right? Your vinyl, maybe concrete. Uh, but for Max and Max Plus, it's more for the carpeted area where it has to go through over a certain terrain where you know there's dust, there's hair. And of course, there is a quiet version of it. Now, just to let you know, the D-Bot T9 goes up to 66 decibels. Now, do you know how loud that is? Literally me talking right now. This is how loud the D-Bot gets. 66 decibels is a normal conversation. So there's even more mopping preferences if you have the mop installed. As of right now, I don't actually have it installed. Okay, so air freshening can be activated as well. Fragrance will be diffused during cleaning, cleaning schedule. Now, this is cool thing, all right? So a lot of people have been asking me, like, so what is the D-Bot for? Who is the D-Bot for, right? The D-Bot is for anyone and everyone, honestly, right? If you are lazy, you can schedule a time. If you are busy and you have, I work in the office the whole day, and your house is messy, you schedule cleaning, right? So let's just say there are certain areas in your house where you know there's carpet and you don't want it to be touched or mopped, right? You want to block out a certain area. All you do is just choose this icon over here. And you can actually choose where to map out on where you want D-Bot to not enter. I've already added a virtual boundary for D-Bot and I think he automatically avoided it at the first time because he was literally right in his path, all right. So after playing around with D-Bot T9 for about 45 minutes, I realized that the app is actually super user-friendly, all right. I was just going through the app, looking at all the different settings. Apparently, I cannot create a 3D map until the D-Bot T9 has completed a full auto-scan. So that's gonna take a while, a bit more. All right, so as I was going through the, the app, right, it actually answered some questions which I actually didn't thought of until like now, you know what I mean? So a lot of these things are disposable, you know, like the, the mop, the cloth, the air freshener, the side brush, the roller brush below, you know. So all these things are wear and tear. There's an option here to help you check for more settings and it actually tells you about the percentage of its health. So everything is here. This app is actually super, super easy to use, understandable. So as the D-Bot T9 is running right now, it has the default slot at the back. So over here, I have the slot for the mop and this is where you put the reservoir of water. So the new and improved Osmo Pro 2.0 electric oscillating mopping system, it clears up to 99% tested bacteria. It actually has quiet mopping. It's actually very durable and it spins up to 480 times per minute. Trust me guys. It's good. And also, you get to adjust the water level on the app. Like I said, when I was going through the app, you can actually adjust the amount of water level. Also, as a gamer, you know, we tend to snack while we game. And trust me when I say this, no one is technically the nicest or cleanest person when they game, right? So let's just say you're eating oh, crumbs here and there. whoop de doo Look at all these crumbs. Look at all these crumbs. Oh my goodness. Oh no. The good thing is that, as a gamer, you have D-Bot to do the job for you. Am I right? D-Bot, attack. That's right. Okay, come back. All right, sorry, I don't really have a long table, but see, just like that, in one false swoop, D-Bot managed to clear most of it out, all right? The D-Bot T9 has a suction power of 3,000 pascal. So what does it mean, all right? So basically, the higher the pascal, the more intense the sucking power. So 3,000 pascal for a robotic vacuum cleaner is actually considered very, very decent. It has to pick up crumbs, hair, pet hair and all these other small things that you can't see. We just picked up those snacks, okay? Collect it in here. It's so clean yet so dirty at the same time. It's so efficient that I'm disgusted by it. I'm so disgusted by how efficient the D-Bot T9 is, you know? All right, so do not fret if you don't have to clear it, all right? There's actually instructions here, okay? Sure blank. The cool thing is that you have a brush right here yeah you know, if there's any leftover dust you just brush it down just to clean up the insides a bit there's a slot right here 
it's double layered along with a sponge. So you can actually clean it everything here. So it's very simple. Are you the vacuum cleaner if you're cleaning the vacuum cleaner? What does that actually make you if you're cleaning the vacuum cleaner? Are you the vacuum cleaner? Am I making sense? I am right, technically. Technically, I am a vacuum cleaner. Okay, sorry, that joke sucked. All right, on a more serious note, guys, as we move forward with businesses reopening again and people heading back into the office, it is only important that we upkeep our hygiene and cleanliness. And with our good friend, the D-Bot T9 here, life is made easier with him around. And the best just got better. And that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the D-Bot T9, links are in the description below. And as usual, this is review and review. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below what I should actually name my D-Bot. I wanted to call him Danbot. Not, I'm, I'm not a kid. <laughs> Wally, okay, okay. But, uh, I wanted to call him Wally. Uh, I don't know. Alright, guys, remember to subscribe, like this video. See you next time. Bye bye.